what I like most about living in this small and beautiful country is how big it is in its cultural diversity. In Luxembourg, we found amazing and inspiring stories about courageous women. Women who made Luxembourg their home, like the Mexican-Japanese artist Hisae Ikenaga. Hisae will open up her artistic world for Charlotte in Red and share with us her creative process. What's for you art? It's a way to see life in different ways and from different angles. At first, it was not easy, but little by little, the art scene adopted me. It's, it's true that at the beginning it's really difficult to understand the creative processes but after some years I found out that that's the way it, it happens so I just do it freely. I usually start, start with an idea something that I see in the street or something that reminds me something that I've been reading or I make like these connections mm -hmm. of the things that I'm interested in. And then I start uh, thinking about how to present something or to make something because also the processes are really sometimes are more important than, than the, the, the result. So I, sometimes I start with an idea and sometimes I start by looking at an object, you know, like looking at its shapes and try to figure out how was it made and what does that mean, where, is, where does it come from, where, who made it, you know? Many times I work on several series at the same time or there are series in which it takes me years to find the best way to convey a message. I started to have a big collection of magazines especially of interior design and also because I found really interesting furniture in them and I've been working with furniture uh, in my sculptures or my installations so I, I found it or you can see it like as a, as a natural way of approaching to different things of course these are different uh, techniques or or disciplines but for me it's something that it's it's a part of the same thing. And I love watching them. I really like what's in. And suddenly I started to think that I really wanted to do something with all these uh, different magazines. And I started to see that there were like a lot of uh, spaces with, uh, with wood. So I started to cut all those pages where I found a lot of wood and then I decided to take all the things that were not done or were not made in that material so for example here I choose a lot of pages with this um, idea of a lot of wood 
in them and then I start cutting all the things that are not made in wood and that's how this series of I call them only woods appeared in this case these images are transformed too and they get some other meanings no? Making a living from art is complicated, but possible. There are countries and cities where being an artist is a privilege, and they are supported. Nowadays, it's not a predominantly male profession, but as in all professions, women have it more difficult. We are given fewer opportunities. Now I think things have changed. For me, the most important thing is to be honest with your work, honest with the things you like, with who you are and where you come from.